hello everybody, I'm Rhonda aka Creative Mommy of Two and today I have the sort of last Black Friday release unboxing to, that I have for you at this moment because this is the last of the order that came in it is a square and it is technology meltdown this one will be the last of the five I had in this order for Black Friday, but I still have three coming. Maybe by the time this video is up, I already have them, but who knows. But the next order it was all pre-orders, so we'll just see when they get here. So yeah, as I said, this one is Technology Meltdown. This is, as you can see by the square on the kit, it is a square drill shape. And this one is 84 by 51 centimeters. We have something with pretty big sized kits lately. <laughs> so I am going to get plastic off here so we can get into it because, yeah, just the box isn't that interesting. And you can have an unboxing with stuff still in the box. So, another piece of plastic for my cat to play with. In case you have seen the last few, you might have known what I mean. And if you haven't, I have a cat that likes to play with plastic and paper. So yeah, that explains, I think, the canvas in its dust cover. Am I having it? No, I don't have a sticker. As far as I see now, I don't have a sticker, but it might be somewhere where I can see it, or maybe on the inside. We'll see in just a little bit. Oh no, I see it. There it is. It's playing hide and seek. So, here is the image, and I totally forgot to say this is a Randall Spangler. So, let's forward. A dragon. Because most of his works, that at least that Diamond Art Club ha has at this moment, are his dragons. But I love to see the cats, especially the cats on the shelf. But we'll see if they will bring them out. If not, oh, too bad. Here we have the drill tray, a pen, a grippy and a multi-placer. This is still the four-placer and two plates of wax. And because it's a square, a really sharp pair of tweezers. So yeah, you can poke them with the, with it. It's really easy. I've done it multiple times already. So yeah, <laughs> don't be like me and don't poke yourself with them. And we have a few baggies. So yeah, putting that back and putting it back in the box so I can store away whenever I want. This little sticker you can use to put on the side of your box, put in your logbook, or whatever you use it for. I personally use it to put on my box for as soon as I store it away, because I have multiple ways to storing it. So yeah, I'm not going to pre-sticker it, because no me, I have it the wrong way. So, a bag of drills. And the canvas. And a dust cover for the cat to play with again. So this has 57 colors. Holy. That's quite a lot. I'm going to show you the big sheet. So here is the image a little bit bigger. And this would definitely be me if I was a dragon. Because me and technology. Do not mix that well. <laughs> so I saw this one and was too much like, hmm, me in dragon form. And he obviously needed to laugh at that. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the symbol list so you can decide for yourself if there are things that are too confusing. Because I personally don't turn around my 
canvas, I work in one and the same direction. So for me, like having corners, like the top left, top right, bottom right, bottom left, in all the same colors, colored background. So for instance, if they're all like gray colors, for me personally, it's not that much of a deal, be only because I need to only pay a little bit more attention to what corner they are, but I don't need to actually pay like really big attention because I turned it. So what's what way is what? So that's not an issue for me, but yeah, I re still rather have them in a different color, but but yeah, what I meant to say with it, what can be confusing for me can be completely fine for you and the other way around. Oh, so we have the step-by-step -step instruction sheets for how to diamond paint and stuff. Again, for my cat to play with. <laughs> she was washing herself, I throw it on the ground and she directly lifted her head like, ooh, what was that? But no, washing was more important at the moment. So here we go. Yeah. Can I get it? Okay, I need to roll it the opposite side here for a bit so it lays flat on that side. This is port glue so you can well rough handle it a bit. <laughs> no, you can just flip it over and just roll it the other way so it lays a little bit flatter. I'm not going to make it extremely flat but this way it shows a little bit better at least. I'm just going to try to see how much I can get into frame. I guess not, not much more than this. And this one did have the one 34 AB. The last dragon diamond painting I did, I was convinced it had the green AB, but it didn't. So yeah, but this one has. <laughs> but this time I can look at the good part and I already see it here. So yeah, <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> In the dragon. Again, by the way, find the noise. <laughs> Bit late. I am going to show you the drills, and as usual, I'm not going to say the numbers out loud except for the ABs. So we start with the AB. If my camera wants to pick it up, there we go. This is a beautiful extra sparkly green AB. And now you can see like the bottoms of them that are like the the colors of the the drill itself. And if you see the tops, you can see that they are a bit extra sparkly. So yeah, that's basically the AB, an extra sparkly drill. So yeah, it's they're really good to make your eyes focus on a certain point in the painting and give it a little bit of an extra bit of an, an oomph. going to go too slow because yeah I don't know how quick you can read and otherwise yeah you might want to look at the drills in a slower speed <laughs> let's throw it on the ground for now so I can at least see what I'm doing
and the last string of pearls. Hmm, that's green. Well, green yellowish. And here we have the second Ibby. I think you can see here also pretty well. As soon as my camera wants to focus again. Hello! Let's help it out a bit. That's better. Hmm. At least this AB is from the old batch of drills, because there I see one with a 9. Come on, focus, a 9. Faceted top. And right next to it is a 13 faceted. And as far as I understood, all the new drills have like only the 13 facets. And here we have the second AB. My camera is now like, nope, it's too late. I don't want to work along anymore. And then having the extra, extra sparkly drills. Probably isn't helping. It looks like these are completely new ones, because I can only see ones with the 13 facets. Because yeah, I also haven't seen the 101 very much, so it can be just a thing that they are out of the old stock. So. Almost at the end. And then we're going to watch where these AB drills go. Oh, we're not at the end. We still have a small. What do we want? A tiny string of drills left. Now we're at the end. <laughs> So we have the three colors of AB drills, the 101, which was the blue one, the 134, which was the green one, and the 141, the white. So the blue one is the first on the symbol list, and that is symbol number one. So I am going to see if I can find one. Yes, I found it here a bit. I see. It is in the smoke coming off of the laptop. I like light parts like here. A little bit around the edges. A few up here in this book. And down here in this marble, the blue bit. That is where I, at least at this point, see the blue. The green, the second is in the dragon itself, on its back, on its tail, a little bit on its legs, its face, its arm. So basically half of the dragon. <laughs> no, that's a bit too much, but yeah, there is a lot. So in the, well, fire, I guess, is a little bit. Also in this book. And, whoa, here's a loop. Here like this color green so this book and loads of those leaves are all these green AB so that will be pretty sparkly also in these two gems oh, I need to focus them both there both of those and also the same color green on top here so yeah this will 
be pretty green sparkly. <laughs> and then we have the 141, the white. There wasn't that much, but yeah. This marble has a little bit. Let's see. This gem has one. And the, well, burning I'll call it, and the, the laptop, there's a few. The eye of the dragon on top of its face. A part of the smoke. A few on its tail. A few on its back, its leg. And in this gem here. And as far as I can see, that's all. But yeah, I absolutely love Randall Spangler's work done by Diamond Art Club because the rendering is so amazing for this style of canvas. For full, yeah, for, well, the rendering is amazing for his style of artwork. That's what I needed to say. So yeah, I have not been disappointing, disappointed by one of the kits of Diamond Art Club in general, but especially not with the Randall Spangler kits. And I own quite a few actually. <laughs> I think like half the collection they have slash I have. <laughs> and the rest I want to have. So yeah. This one is one on the list for like semi short term plans, but yeah, my plans keep changing. I have a few kits that I'm like, oh, I want to do this, this one next, and I'm already like four kits ahead. So yeah, we'll see when I get to do this one because sometimes I also let my husband pick, so he could be like in completely different order than what I am thinking. So yeah we'll see when it's get when it gets done and then you'll see it in a review or if you want to see it in a time lapse just shoot me down a message and i'll make sure it gets bumped up the list so if you ever see one of the unboxings and you are like "Ooh, i want to see that done and i want to see it done in time lapse you for sure need to let me know and i will bump it up the list as long as I not have like 10 videos that people say that about, because then it still needs, needs like a hard choice to be picking whatever people want first. <laughs> but you get the gist. I hope this was at least somewhat helpful. And I do now see that I forget what, completely forgot what the other two canvases I filmed today. But I forgot to measure the canvas, so I'll for sure do that with this one. So I'll try to be as complete as I can. This should be, what did I say, 484. And it's about 2 millimeters short. So through the size. I'm gonna roll up my measuring tape a bit because, yeah, I have it always rolled up and I think that works the nicest. So, yeah. And like 50 and a half. So, yeah, through the size, it's a little bit off, but not enough for me to complain. <laughs> so, yeah, it's through the size. The symbol clarity, I don't believe I have shown you. is, as always, really clear. As long as I keep my lighting good. <laughs> Otherwise, you still can't see it, but yeah. I don't see at this point, like any symbol that will be really confusing, but I most likely see it when I work on it, if there are, if there are any, but 
I hope this video helped you at least to decide if you want to have it or not. And yeah, let me know what you think about it down in the comment section below. I hope this helped you. And yeah, I stop rambling now. <laughs> Again, I hope you liked this video and well, you know the drill. Like, subscribe and leave a comment if you want something, well, you want me something to know. Yeah, it's uh, almost uh, 1130 at night, so yeah. My words don't come out as good today, so yeah, sorry. <laughs> but I'm going to get let you go now for the 10th time. I hope you liked this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye.